Hi guys, um, my Venezuelan Sun Tiger has molted. Um, it's a very fresh molt. They have only molted today. I'm going to try and sex this molt now. I've not sexed one of their other molts yet, so hopefully they haven't chewed up the abdomen too badly so we can see. Um, I thought I would share it with you because some people are just interested and some people may have their own spiders, tarantulas, whatever, and want to do it themselves but don't know how. It is the easiest thing in the world. All you need is a bit of water, the shed skin and a little bit of um, washing up liquid. I don't know how but it helps to smooth out the skin so um, this has been soaking for a few minutes um, I don't know if that's come off there has it no it's hanging on by a thread oh it looks pretty chewed up actually so I don't know how well this is gonna go because it looks very chewed up just need a bit of kitchen roll and some soft brushes and you just have to sort of poke it about the best you can to uh, find what's what here um, so you can stretch out the abdomen here are the legs for this side and what's up there oh that's fangs and pedipalps uh, here we go. Here is the top of the abdomen and it's attached to what should be the abdomen but it looks like the abdomen is very chewed up. Of course it is. Oh poop. Ah we might still be able to do it. Let's have a look. Right here are the legs. Oh, we might have enough here. Might not be in too bad a condition. You just have to sort of keep on... Sorry about my husband waffling in the background. He's got his dad on speakerphone. Um, they're trying to sort out something to do with repairing the stairs or something. It's very chewed up. There's a... Um, Spinneret. Uh, let me just re-wet the um, the abdomen. See if we can spread it out a bit more with a wet brush. That bit there might be all we need. But oh, there's a book lungs. Those white bits are the book lungs. Ah, uh, there we go. See, it's all, always like all curled around and it's hard to open it up there. But what we need is just enough to look at the vent underneath, which we might be able to see it if it's not too badly. This is a hard one to um, mess with. Oh, we've still got both spinnerets. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. There we go. Uh, that one needs to come over this side. It's just very fiddly and you have to be delicate because you can easily break it off and then you won't see anything. So here we go. Uh, that, ah, here we go. That looks to be, that doesn't look to be spermatheca. If you sort of open it out in the water, it's a lot easier. 
Because sometimes you can do it easy on the paper towel. Sometimes, like this time, it is not easy at all. So this is what we're looking for here. Where those weird parts are there, there, there. And in that bit there that I just need to move slightly this way. Those are the book lungs. And that little part there, just under the bush, that bit, that is a vent. But I can't see Spermatheca. It's probably a boy.